My name is Gareth Cliff and you're watching Joburg Today. Just over 600 days of South Africa's national lockdown and we enter the December festive season with a new COVID-19 strain. Wash your hands, wear your mask, you know, be safe, you know what I mean, and, uh, and carry on with your life. In case you haven't heard, there's a new COVID-19 variant in town called Omicron and it's responsible for the sharp increase in new infections. It's in that regard that we'd like to remind you of basic COVID-19 responses to continue to safeguard yourself and those around you. First, face masks remain critical in limiting the spread of the virus. Halo Aviation's Dr. Neville Flock shows us the proper way to put these on. The easiest way to fit these masks while it's clean is to use clean hands. I'm not going to fit the mask. The easiest way is to get, is to get all of the straps to the front fit the mask then to your face and then take the straps over one by one. The bridge usually has a malleable piece and should be fit closely to the nose or snugly to the nose. If you feel any air leaks or any air coming inside then it means that your mask is not fitted correctly. There is no no reason to reuse a mask as this is not safe. If you do reuse your mask then this is at your own risk. The good news is that masks have now become accessories as a means for people to make a fashion statement. For this, we spoke to designer David Tlale. I think it's, it's one of those things that we, we all have to adhere to. It's like putting on underwear, it's like putting on shoes. It's, a, it's an accessory that, that also kind of like, it's starting to become a, a, a judgmental space. Um, whether you're having a, a surgical mask or a fashionable mask or a designer mask, uh, it kind of like says a lot. You know how in the past you would be judging a man by a pair of his shoes and now you like, kind of like look at the mask, how it, is it matching his tie or his pocket square or even a lady is wearing a dress, is, is the mask complementary to, to her outfit? So yes, it's becoming a very necessary um, accessory, which is, I would say, a good means of driving sales in, into our stores and into our spaces or into our businesses as a clothing and textile industry. Hand washing is also at the top of the list as a key way to prevent COVID-19 transmission. In October this year, the world celebrated Hand Washing Day and as a result, we spoke to a clinical nurse from the Orem Institute. The one greatest thing that I think COVID-19 has brought upon us as human beings is the fact that it reminded us of how important hand washing is. It has seemed like it was a culture that was lost along the way to a point where you would see a very small child reminding their parents, mommy, wash your hands, daddy, wash your hands, because this is what they are taught at school. And this is what we were also taught in school growing up. But somewhere along the line, we lose it because maybe we are too busy to do it or we don't see the importance of doing it. Or we've never been in a situation where you are simply told that actually the illness that you have, you just got it from your colleague and that is because you guys shared something that you were not even supposed to be sharing. So COVID-19 has reminded us that washing of hands can prevent so many things, COVID included. Still on hand hygiene, the use of hand sanitizers has proven to be another effective tool in the fight against COVID-19. I prefer to keep my, carry my own and use my own, yes, definitely. Well, I think sanitizers are good. It's a good thing. I mean, how else are we going to get rid of the germs, you know? Some other malls where I've seen, they're using these multi-purpose things and it's burning the hands and it's not sanitizing. If you buy your own, then you know for sure that it's, it's, it's the right thing. You know, you go to a reputable place like Discam, Plex, I mean, one of your pharmacies, then you know it's reputable, definitely. I think we should all start carrying our own stuff around. Over and above social distancing, covering coughs and sneezes, indoor ventilation and clean air, government continues to stress the need for people to get vaccinated. The executive mayor of Joburg, Mpopalat, has said the city would continue with mass vaccination of residents to prepare for the expected fourth wave in mid-December. 